Great stuff. It is a Monday, and I'm hoping that you're well rested and you had a fantastic weekend. If you're just tuning in for the first time, hey, Nicole, how are you doing? Thank you so much, my love. Um, you did tell me you had a fantastic weekend, so that's good to hear. My name is Prosper Taruvinga, by the way, the founder and CEO of Live Long Digital, your one-stop uh, digital shop here in Melbourne. And um, if this is the first time you're encountering us, just like what Nicole says, this show is too lit for TV. Thank you so much for that. Now, I'm the creator and um, the uh, also originator of the Online Prosperity um, Blueprint, which is your four-step guide to online prosperity, where we actually sit down for 30 minutes and we really want to help you earn more money while you are having less struggle with your online business, all right? So this will actually help you get a lot more recognition within your industry and you're actually settling for a job, time, money and effort and doing things that you actually love, okay? So I noticed a few people are joining in. Thank you so much. I cannot, um, you know... Um, uh, mention everyone's name over there, but if you're on there, just let a brother know that you're on and, um, you know, thank you so much for the support. Right, I've got a really big question for you, okay? So for starters, I'm really, really excited. So much is happening in my life right now. I cannot believe that this is or was the African kid that six years ago had no plan, had no income, had nothing going on for him, but so much is just happening um, as we speak. I want to ask you a question right now. Do you actually know the day or what day it was? Was it a Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday when you were born? Okay, that's one question for you. The reason why I'm asking this is... Um, if you know the day that you were born, please type it in there. Samantha, I see you just tuned in. Alex Morrison, thank you so much for tuning in. Can you type in the day, if you know it, the day that you were born, all right? Um, the reason why I'm saying this is today is a Monday, and it's the start of the week, right? And a lot of people don't quite, um, you know, come in and don't quite, um, you know, you know, are not prepared for, for, for a day that is actually, um, you know, groundbreaking for the week, as, 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 as so, so to speak. Alex uh, says it was on a Wednesday that you were born. Wow, that's good. Samantha says, I have no idea. Now, Samantha, I've got a question for you. What if you were born on a Monday? All right. What if you were born on a day when the doctor was not feeling up to it? What if you were born on a day um, when the, the, the nurse was just, you know, going, meh, I can't be, I can't be bothered to Monday. All right. So you can see that all the things that we do as humans have replications. Every single habit or every single thing that we do as a person, all right, has effects in the end. Good on you, Nicole, for knowing when you were born. I'm not quite sure. And I would, I would not have wanted to be born on a Monday when the nurses were not feeling up to it. Now, can you imagine what could be happening within your business or within your life right now that you are not taking good care of just because it's a Monday and you're thinking, oh, you know what, I'll probably catch on the, 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 the week on a Tuesday or I'll probably catch on the week on a Wednesday. How many things are you letting go or how many things are you doing half-heartedly just because you think it's the day of the week that you were born? Now, does it matter to you when you now, um, you know, get that client or or you now go to the bank that, oh, this is the work that I did on a Monday, or this is the work that I did on a Friday, all of it just gets morphed into, um, you know, one day, right? So I'm here to want to encourage you that every single day matters. Every single person matters. Every single email matters. Every single status matters. Because at the end of the day, you are not going to know when you did it on a Monday. You're not going to know when you did it on a Tuesday. You're not going to know when you did it on a Wednesday. But if you don't do it, you will feel it. All right. So, you know, there's so much that happens within our, you know, um, entrepreneurial life that sometimes we might just think, oh, you know, I don't think everybody else is up to speed today is a Monday. So let me slack off. You don't know what the other people are doing. And if you're not doing your part and if you're not keeping the momentum of your day-to-day -day routines, that 
will put you in a position of not knowing how to tackle bigger things when they come in. All right. So the topic for today is we're talking about how to keep momentum going and how to actually maintain those habits going so that you don't sort of have um, burn off or you don't find yourself in a position that you cannot complete certain tasks. It's a matter of of having set habits and set ways of doing certain things so that whatever you do and your outcome all feels effortless. I see Peter Combi has just tuned in. Nicole has also tuned in. Thank you so much, guys. It feels like a whole big family up in here. All right. So half the time, a lot of businesses fail because of the habits that they have. Half of the time, most businesses fail because they lose momentum. And half of the time, most businesses fail because they don't know how to do certain things because their habits are not carrying them forward. Do you know what I mean? So at the end of the day, you know, the most successful businesses are run by entrepreneurs who actually harbor the right habits that ensure that the business lasts until tomorrow. You know, the, the, the reason why a lot of people fail is because they lose momentum and they don't have the grit or the know-how to continue. Just like right now, my whole ecosystem or this Facebook Live is now taking a whole world of its own. People are coming here to meet, mingle, and interact with other entrepreneurs. Now, if your habits are in place, and if you're ready to meet up with other people, all of this will seem effortless. All right? So today, I really want to help you cultivate a few habits that you will you know, constantly have so that you don't have to have a problem with Mondays. You don't have to have a problem with, you know, trying to figure out what should I say or how should I behave. You are constantly ready and ready to take on anything because you never know when the opportunity comes in. The reason why a few other entrepreneurs don't even do well in their business is because sometimes the door is wide open, but they cannot see it because their habits cannot carry them through. They cannot see it because their habits have not formulated enough experience for them to know whether it's a good deal or not a good deal. And that's the reason why a lot of people fail. The thing that you see when, um, you know, when Hussein Bolt or all those other people are running the Olympics, their habits are the ones that make them confident enough to know that they're going to win that race. It's because they have been working behind the scenes where people do not actually see them because all you get to see is the 10 seconds of Hussein Bolt lifting up his hands in, in to show his victory. But you don't see the hours happening behind. You don't see how he wakes up in the morning or what it is that he does in order to be ready for that 10 seconds. Now, as an entrepreneur, you might think, Prosper, why do I need to know why Hussein Bolt is doing that? You also have 10 seconds for somebody to look at your status or to look at your offer and swipe right or engage and give you their email address so that they can correspond with you. So all those things that you have to do behind the scenes are just a matter of habit to prepare you for the one day when you actually have to stand up and be like, you know what, I've run this battle, I've won this uh, competition, this is me, I'm the entrepreneur of note. All right, how's it going, Stephen? Thank you so much for tuning in. All right, so we are only given that small window of 10 seconds for somebody to actually decide whether they want to do business with you or not. We are given 10 seconds for somebody to decide whether they want to uh, engage with your group or not. We are given 10 seconds for somebody to actually decide whether they want to buy your book or not. But the work that you have done behind the scenes, the habits that you have formulated that have made you keep up the momentum up until that one person decides, yes, you're the person to do business with. Yes, you're the Barbara I need to talk to. It's all a matter of momentum, but you got to keep that going. Nobody's going to see what's happening behind the scenes. Do you know what I mean? Nobody is going to see what, how much work you're putting in. Barbara says, hey, Prosper, I know this isn't related. Are you on TV tonight or tomorrow? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm on tonight, Channel 9 at 8.45. Um, I think Melbourne time. All right. And thank you, everybody else that's tuning in. In case you're in uh, Australia tonight. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to be on TV uh, on a show called This Time Next Year. 
just showing you a few of the habits that happen behind the scenes. You know, it's not it's not just a matter of me showing up every single day. There's a lot of stuff that happens behind the scenes so that I have the confidence to, to, to come in and be the person that helps you start, scale and grow a business that's profitable and enjoyable. There's a lot that happens behind the scenes and nobody's going to ask me if I did it on a Monday. Nobody's even going to ask you if you did any of that stuff on a Monday. All right. So at the end of the day, we really, really need to figure out, are we adding enough value? Are we doing enough whether we feel like or not? Because the one reason why a lot of people fail or go ahead is because they do stuff when other people are not willing to do it. I put up a status the other day. I don't know if anybody would notice uh, or noticed when I said not everybody is going to be um, cut out to be an entrepreneur, but you can still double. You can still try it out so that at the end of the day, you figure out if it was your thing or not your thing. But sometimes you are just put in a position to make you realize whether this is the thing for you or not. So, so half of the things that we do, you know, the, 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 the whole truth really is much of our behavior, the way we talk to people, the way we, re, the, you know, the way we, we introduce ourselves to other people, it's all employed and all influenced by the habits that we have, you know, um, you know, put instilled onto ourselves and effectively determining what or how much potential that will be utilized in order to get the results that we want. There's a lot of work that goes behind the scenes for you to be able to see me for 30 minutes every single day and consistently. There's a lot of work and there's a lot of habits that go into that so that you continuously do it and it doesn't feel like work. Because once you do something, you know, continuously and, and consistently, it ceases to become work. It, it, it becomes effortless. And the more you are effortless, the more, you know, tenacity you've got, the more willpower you've got, the more energy you have. And people like to be associated with those that are heading somewhere. People like to be associated with people that are doing stuff. But you got to cultivate the habits that then make it seem effortless. All right. There's a lot of things that, that, that you really, really need to do in order to figure out, are you the right kind of person to, to be, do, and have the life that you want to? If so, start cultivating the habits that get you there. All right. Morgan says, I lost my job for being too honest this morning. Well, we'll talk about that. Let's figure out how that happened. There's quite a lot that you can, um, you know, do. Um, you know, so far with your sort of talents and things that you have there. So, you know, I'm talking about the fact that habits are undeniably a powerful part in life in general. All right. Um, Mike says, first time tuning in. I love the energy you have, my friend. Thank you so much, Mike. Thank you so much. And Peter Combe says, the corporate America can't handle the truth. Rise up and attack the day. Very well. Thank you so much. I love the conversations that are also happening there. Thank you so much. And if you find what I'm talking about valuable or it could help somebody else, please share this. It's not a matter of a popularity contest with me anymore. I'm good. Some people really need to know that maybe what they're looking for, maybe what they want, maybe what they're actually seeking is what they're not doing and what they're not projecting in and of themselves so that other people can see if they are the right person who's qualified to take on that job or get that check at the end of the day. All right? Because what we are actually doing really is the habits that you have in talking to people, how you reach out to people, how you say hi to somebody else, institutes or would actually culminate into a, hench, uh, you know, a, a check at the end. All right. So the behavior that you have around other people, what you think is right or what they think is right is totally different things. All right. Um, I'll give you a perfect example because of habits. Who is there to know that what you're doing is right and what you're doing is wrong? You get the results, what the market gives you. Are they paying for your services? Are you buying your products? That then constitutes to see if your habits are actually working. If not, you could always change them. 
Okay, so you know, if you're a business owner or if you're somebody who is actually committed to achieving some sort of financial success, you need to ensure that you are employing the right habits that will lead you towards your goals. And clearly, if you have the bad habits of not working enough or not being, um, you know, a team player or not being responsive to people's questions about your products, do you think that people will purchase from you? It's just small things. It's not a matter about, you know, taking a hack or, or you know, having a click funnels that work that works or Facebook ads that work. It's just small habits. How are you communicating to people? How are you creating and relating to the people you're expecting money off of? Small habits like that. And especially with the internet, little things can quickly ruin you or destroy your reputation and wipe out any chance of any success that you can have. What habits are you formulating within yourself, within the people that are around you, within your social eco space? All right, so if you now start having the really, really good habits and you consistently and persistently apply them, whatever you do stops looking like work. You now start creating the success that you actually really, really, really want. Yeah? Do you know what I mean? That's why I'm saying eight out of 10 businesses are failing because somebody decided not to work on a Monday. And that's the truth because their habits did not carry them forward. Eight out of 10 businesses are failing because somebody thought Monday was a lot of work. Oh, I'm going to give up and do something else. You know, it's things like this that they never tell you. Habits that just start formulating because you might say, oh, this Monday, mm, okay. And then before you know it, you've got nothing to show for it. All right. And the more you don't have anything to show for it, the more the market doesn't want to hear about you. This isn't some subjective, you know, sort of airy fairy stuff that I'm talking about. It's actually based on empirical data from the world's most successful entrepreneurs. Mondays are the days where a lot of things happen. A lot of heart attacks happen on a Monday for those that go to work. You know why? Because they don't want to go to work and they have a heart attack. Look it up. It's the statistics to prove what I'm saying. So if you focus on building up a, a majority of the really, really good habits to, to have in your business, you're going to be guaranteed of long-term success. It is a marathon, guys. You know what I mean? People are anticipating results instantly. But if you don't have the habit of patience, if you don't have the habit of greed, if you don't have the habit of talking to people and actually putting in the work, nothing is going to work out for you. So you got to cultivate the habits that actually then put you in the right place for you to be, do, and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And one of them is embracing Monday. You know, for you to have long-term success, you've got enough Mondays to actually start, you know, projects and finish on exactly the same day. But some people let it slide and, and hope that by Wednesday they get back into it. And before you know it, that's time that you haven't put together. Right now, I start work at 9 a.m., but I wake up two hours before to exercise, um, you know, have fun with my little girl. Because even if she's at home, she, she will be playing out there and I won't have time with her. All right. And in the process, all those little habits that you're having, maybe the, 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 the way you answer your phone call, the way that you, 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 you present yourself, maybe somebody just wanted to ask a few questions. And before you know it, because your habit was not in place and you think just because it's a Monday, you can slack off, you lose that whole contract. Now, who's to blame? Stephen Kelly says it takes over 60 days to change a habit. Research has confirmed it. Definitely. All right. So I'm going to be talking about a few habits that you really can, um, you know, take on. And Stephen Kelly, thank you so much, man, for the um, little plug that you did on the Sydney show. Uh, get jiggy with it. It's, it, yeah, it really made me feel um, humble. Right. That's a really good habit to have to be grateful when people do nice things for you. And, you know, that perpetually would make people want to do stuff for you as well. All right. A few people that I know that are really, really successful. Apparently, they start a little bit earlier than everybody else. All right. 
Can you type in your um, in, in the comments there, what time did you start off your day today? Just type in the comments, what time did you start your day today? All right. So they say that, you know, if you really, really want to be successful in business, it requires true effort and grit. All right. You know, along with a lot of concentration. And I find that, you know, when 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 I'm here and, 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 you know, trying to look after both my girls, they all have their needs and wants and they all want my attention. But if I wake up early, they're all still sleeping and I can put in a bit of work so that, you know, by the time um, they wake up, I at least have two or three things ready for them. All right, Ron Hill says you started off at 4.30. That's cool. Uh, Vanessa started off at 7 a.m. Those are really good hours, man. You know? And Steven says, ha, ah, no problem, man. Encountered my fear of public speaking by doing a radio show. 4.30 a.m. start. That's amazing. You get a lot more. You get a head start on the world. You will get a head start on the world if you just wake up a little bit early. All right. And once you do that, even if you haven't figured out what to do when you wake up a little bit early during that time, just find time to actually figure out what your day is going to be like. Because if you've got a schedule, if you've got a plan, then you've got immediate goals to, to tackle. All right. We are all um, an instant generation. Um, I mean, instant gratification generation. All right. So if you've got immediate goals to tackle, like maybe you want to read for two hours, you want to reach out to 10 clients, you want to um, maybe you want to I don't know what your goals would be or you want to finish certain you know parts of your website, etc, etc. Small miniature goals would actually make you feel accomplished. All right. The more little things that you feel accomplished with, it now creates those little habits that you get stuff done. But if you've got really big, audacious goals that you cannot finish, it will actually make you feel paralyzed and you won't even finish anything. So when you start your day, when you wake up early, just do small things at a time. I talked about the Pomodoro, um, you know, uh, strategy the other time where you, you, you put your thing, your, your, your day into 30 minute intervals. You notice that you'll get a lot more done and you feel very accomplished. You know why? Because, you know, you're just taking things in bite sizes. But if you take on the big tasks and then it overwhelms you, you then get nothing done and you start complaining that Monday is, 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 is a bad day for you. All right. So when you wake up early, make sure you, you, you set yourself up to win by giving yourself really small and tactical goals. And once you have those, stay inspired. All right. Listen and watch to what it is that you're listening to while you're working. All right. What are you doing when you are working? You, are you listening to music or are you listening to stuff that inspires you? There's a lot happening in the world right now that you really, really, really have to make sure that when, when you wake up, you separate yourself from the world like it has to happen. No matter how much you, you, you want to be attached to what happened to Sally in, in Queensland over the weekend, you really, really, really have to separate yourself from the world if you want to, to actually achieve some sort of success. There's a lot of difficulties that, that are building up within the world, but they're not, you, you, you cannot do anything about them. So if you separate yourself from like watching the news or stuff like that, find something that totally inspires you every single day. So it could be, um, uh, you know, yes, uh, like what Ni Nicole says, listen to YouTube and motivational audio, stay on track and avoid the media. Exactly. Because even if you hear about a bomb that erupted in Bujumbura, how are you going to solve it? Does your business provide food and furniture to people that, you know, have been demolished in a, in, 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 in a volcano or in an in a earthquake? No, you don't. You're just going to spend the rest of your day worried and then that's a day you're never going to get back for the rest of your life. All right. So considering all the difficulties that are involved in building a notable business, it's very important to stay inspired. Listen to things that motivate you, things that build you up because you never know what your subconscious is actually um you know, you never know why your subconscious is actually, you know, you know, you know, listening to or what, what it is that's coming through. Because what comes in, garbage in, garbage out. 
So you're never going to know how to greet people. You're never going to know how to shake hands with people or trust other people. Because all that's filled up in your head is the thought that maybe some people are just going to bomb you or something like that. All right. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot. It, there's a lot that happens behind the scenes that when you then see a video like this, there's a few habits that have been happening all through the life the lifespan or just throughout the day when the day started. All right. And all those things really, really, um, you know, activate. Yes, yes, yes. Peter Combi says, eat a good breakfast. That's also a really good habit. Because if you're not energized, if you don't have energy or the fuel to get things, um, you know, happening within your, your yourself, and it has to be a nutritional breakfast that actually then fuels you because everything that you're doing takes away energy. So you need to make sure that you've got a constant supply of that energy. You've got a constant supply of things that will constitute you having a good day, a good Monday, and eventually a good lifestyle. And Ron Hill says, work out, then breakfast. It depends how you, you like it. Um, I work out earlier, maybe when I wake up, that's when, that's when it all happens. But a workout is also good because there's the energy flow, you, the blood starts moving, and all those little, little um, you know, activities that actually makes you have gratitude in what you're doing. Be connected to the self that you are becoming. Because what a lot of people are doing some people are just hooking up with their business and that's why it's becoming a problem for them to concentrate on the one thing. You really need to get married to that thing. You need to make sure you have it 24-7. So that's why some people are not really doing well because they're just dabbling. But if you cultivate all these habits that we're talking about, if you actually start looking at what's coming into your mind what's coming in your periphery who are you talking to how are you talking to them and how are you connecting with other people because between me and you there's just this screen there's people behind there people that have blood people that have manners people that also have their own habits and people that actually do have a credit card to pay for your service so treat it as that all right. And, you know, once you are inspired either through video uh, reading or, you know, watching um, stuff or watching people that have already, you know, succeeded, it helps you. You know what I mean? It actually really, really, really makes you understand that at the end of the day, you are going to be the star player and your habits are the ones that are going to pull you through. You know? Because whatever we do, we do it on instant impulse. So why not make sure that you are putting in the right stuff so that your knee-jerk reaction is going to be, um, you know, your, your knee-jerk reaction is just going to be a good one. People always want, you know, maybe a beautiful world or people want harmony and peace within the world, but they're not doing their part. Their habits are not showing that that's the, what they want. People say, oh, I want to be successful, but your habits are doing the, the opposite. You're not reading, you're not watching news, I mean, I mean you're not watching, um, you know, motivational stuff, you're not concentrating on your clients, you're not, you know, you're looking at the feedback that you're getting from people, you're not tracking and analyzing any of the work that you're putting out there, your habits are the ones that then fine-tune all the little successes that you have. I've got a word for it, it's called successories. For every outfit, there's few accessories, you know? You know, everything has to be in the right place in order for the outfit to look good. Those little accessories are formulated by the little habits that you do. So don't let any day go by without being a good human. Don't let any day go by without showing any gratitude. Meeting up with the people that are supposed to pay you as your customers. Do you know what I mean? So, you know, you know, success in business has a lot to do with what you as a person is doing. It's not going to be a trick. It's not going to be, um, you know, a new shiny object or whatever it is. It's you. How do you, how do you, how do you present yourself? People buy from those that they know, like, and trust. Now, are your habits letting people know you? Are your habits allowing people to trust you? Are your habits letting people know who exactly you are? 
All right, it's small things. Very, very small things can actually put people off of your work. It's because of the habits that you're maintaining. All right, how are you connecting with the people that are around you that are meant to be helping you and supporting you? All those things. All right, we're all caught up in trying to make a buck. We're all caught up in trying to make a profit. We're all caught up in trying to make, you know, the next dollar out of whatever 50 cents that we have. And we forget to connect with ourselves. We forget to connect with others. We forget that all the habits and the small things that we are doing every single day matter. Now, if you remember from the start of this show, I asked you, do you know what day you were born or what day it was? Because if you were born on a Monday and the nurse was just in a bad mood and maybe cut the umbilical cord wrongly and now you're maybe having a, a, a problem within your, 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 your body just because somebody was having a case of the Mondays. Whatever you do matters. So make sure that your habits, whoever you talk to and how you do it is all going to be the one whole success story. All right. I really, really want you to win, guys. Like, like no other thing. I really, really want that you're going to win. I really, really want that you earn a lot more money within your business with less struggle. So the more nice habits that you cultivate, the better it is, the lesser the struggle becomes. All right? What it is within yourself and the habits that you, you curate and put it all together is, 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 will bring you a lot more recognition within your industry that you love. Will get people to start knowing that you're the person to do the job. All right? Cultivate very good habits. And today, especially on a Monday, if you can actually make it your habit day, it will actually make a total difference because when you're going to be at that podium winning your success story or when we're reading that story, nobody's going to know you did it on a Monday. And your, um, your, your competition is probably just chilling right now and not doing anything. If we just change a few of the habits like what the other guys were saying it takes maybe 60 days to actually cultivate really good habits just do that guys all right at the end of the day i really want you to succeed i really want you to do well and be well and have businesses that are profitable and enjoyable let's continue the conversation in the bottom in the meantime have a fantastic week guys let's see it all you know, let's see that success. You see how happy I am? I'm happy for your success already, all right? Let's do this, guys.